Dr. Paul Frank's office. Hello. Like my clear mask. It's See awesome. my smile. Yeah. yeah. She's in the chair. She doesn't have to wear the mask. I will. We've got the little cyst going on yes. there. Yes. So what I she had two other little issues um, that are medical issues, but they're benign. They they're for cosmetic concerns. She has a little red dot there that you may be a little tough to see. She has a couple of these other little red dots here. Um, these are called cherry hemangiomas. Obviously, cherry, they look like little cherries. They're often genetic. They can come out with age, with sun damage, but most people who have them have many of them throughout their body, and so it's something their parents have too. They're very easy to remove, and I'm going to show you what's called a V-beam or a vascular laser to do it. And then you had something on the scalp, right? Yeah, I had something on my scalp too. Well, what is it? Uh, when did this come out? This was like a few years ago, and I've been just putting some oil on it. I didn't know. It's a little scaly, yeah. crusty thing. A lot of people get nervous about it because they can get dark. They're called seborrheic keratosis. You have to go to med school to learn how to spell that. Okay. Okay. <laughs> but basically, a keratosis is a type of growth, and this is benign. But they can get scrapey, and a lot of people get them in the scalp. You also have a couple of these on your chest, which at another time we could remove. Uh -huh. um, but in the scalp, it's annoying when you're styling. So what I'm going to do is take this little liquid nitrogen pen, and I'm going to freeze it off. And the re reason we can freeze it off is that A, it'll destroy it, B, it won't hurt her hair. Oh, which is why we good. don't want to cut or scrape. So it, it's right here. Uh -huh. okay. So okay. What you're going to do is you're going to feel a little cold spray. All right. It stings a little bit. See the white? I'm going to do that once, I'm going wow. to do that a couple of times. This is going to turn into a little scab and then it will fall off in a couple of days. Oh my god. We'll do it again. And now what is this from? Is it from the sun or? Genetic. Genetic. You can blame your parents. Yeah. Five, four, three, two, one. Awesome. That's it. Great. We'll not grow back. Amazing. Next time we give it a go. Awesome. Okay. See, this is the thing, as you get after the age of 15, thank God we can't see all the organs of her body, because they're all growing these little benign things that don't really have like a medical problem, but like who wants these things growing on your skin, right? Yeah, no. <laughs> so, you're gonna hear a little clankety clank, that's the laser. Oh, wow, so he's doing laser now. Have you been open, uh, how, did you just start opening, or how has it been because of the... Uh, well, since COVID? Yeah. I've been open since May 18th when Governor Cuomo said we could start doing routine office visits. Wow. Other types of surgeries we weren't allowed to start until June 18th, things like fat removal, things of that nature. But yeah, beauty and skin never sleep. Awesome. Awesome. Yeah, guys. And it's just, I'm so grateful that he's open because I had this cyst. I was nervous that it was cancerous. And you know, it's really important, especially now that you guys go and get checked out and you go to the doctor because if you leave it oh she gets goggles i get goggles uh if you leave things you may not you may not know and who knows it's now you have to be so careful so thank god uh that dr dr paul frank is, is working and he's also a, a really great dermatologist so he is gonna do this right now some laser surgery some laser surgery okay i'm gonna first do this one right here this little teeny one Not too bad, right? Yeah, it's not bad at all. And this is, I tell people, if you have red dots on your face, you don't have to leave them. You can just, you can go to, to Dr. Paul Frank or a dermatologist near you and, and get rid of them. Make sure that it's done by a laser, though, because a lot of times if you're, if you go to a general dermatologist, they may just try and cauterize them off, which can't leave a mark. So really, the best cosmetic way to do this is with laser so it doesn't leave a mark. Okay, I'm gonna do the one underneath your eye. Okay. Okay, just keep your eye closed. Three, two, one, right light. Very bright light, one more time. So what this does, it turns the little red dot purple. So it almost is like bruises it, like it blows up the blood vessel. So it'll be a red dot to a purple dot, and then in a few days it will disappear. And I think, I'm gonna, I'm gonna lean over the camera here. I think we got them all. He really only has like four or five. Awesome. That's it. Congratulations. Thank you. Wow. That was great. That was um, so cool. That was and you'll fast. See, it almost will look like you have a little freckle there. Uh-huh. And there's nothing you have to do. I mean, I wouldn't go tanning, but other than that, uh -huh. there's no downtime. Would you put sunscreen over this or what would you do? You can. You, do? you can okay. put sunscreen. There should be no blistering or burning or anything. It probably stings a little bit right now, but you know, in 10 minutes, you'll be able to go back to business, put on makeup, go out to dinner. Wow. White wine and tequila is very good for it too. It helps it heal. Now, I, 
I saw your TikToks. They're they're amazing. Thank and you. I, I have a lot of people out there. I, I, the last few ones you did about hair loss. Yeah. Is there any advice you can give in about it? Yeah. Well, hair loss is like a big issue right now because people are undergoing an enormous amount of stress with COVID. Not only the people who got sick like me, but just people who are dealing with life stress. So people are dealing with something called telogen effluvium. Don't ask me to spell it, but it is stress-related hair loss. Women get it after pregnancy. People get it up after big life trauma, loss of job, divorce, loss of child, stuff like that. And what happens is about a few months after the stress, your hair just sheds. It's very, very scary. Um, it does eventually come back for 90 plus percent of people, but you want to use things like minoxidil over the counter. There are treatments in offices like PRP where we draw your blood, oh, we yeah. spin down the growth factors and inject it back in the, in, the, in the scalp. But the most important thing is knowing that it happens, it's common, and that in 95 percent of the people it grows back on its own. But you know, who wants to wait six months for the hair to grow back? So we can do some simple things. And it's important that probably a dermatologist take a look at it to make sure that's the type of hair loss. Yeah, I feel like I've, I've gone through that kind of stress. There was a period where I was really stressed. I went through a breakup, and I was seeing clumps of hair. Yeah. I saw your video. I'm like, oh my god, that's what it was. It's very scary. It's very scary. But the good news is it's reversible, and uh, there are treatments for it to speed it up. So we'll do that. That's awesome. And now, in your book, do you describe what the treatments are? Or yeah, there... <laughs> I go through all of it in the pro-aging playbook. So, you know, there are several types of hair loss, particularly for women. This is like a very, you know, scary thing. Um, but men go through telogen effluvium too. After I had COVID, I must say, I thinned out a little bit, but it came back now. And, um, and that's it. And a lot of this is also about managing stress. It is tough times. And the skin is one of those organs. You know, people say the eyes are the windows to the soul. I think the skin is the window to the soul. Because when you are stressed out, when you're going through trauma in life and things like that, it does show in your skin. Fortunately, we have technologies and tricks to help that out. Now, I saw another one of your TikToks I really enjoyed was that the, it was like a hydrogen, some kind of acid that you put in the under eyes. What was that? It was, well, I don't know what I said. It, it was hydraulic acid. Ha hyaluronic acid. Oh. Okay. Yes, hyaluronic acid is a filler. So for people with dark circles under the eyes, particularly young people, you know, a lot of people say, well, what's the youngest patients you treat and what do they do? But I would say under eye dark circles and under eye hollows are probably something that's very genetic. I have patients in their early 20s that do it. Um, you know, once you get into your 50s or 60s, sometimes it's more of a surgical issue. So if you have the problem young, it's easy to clean up your room when it's not too dirty. So people always ask me, like, when do I start? When do I? And I said, you know, I don't believe in cosmetic treatments if you don't have a problem. But if you have a problem, treat the problem early and you get a better, safer, easier result. And does that, so when they, they inject it, does it go away right away? How does no, it No, I take, well, the good news is the same filler that you inject here will last about a year, whereas in the lips it could be gone in like three, four months. Wow. So especially if you're someone that does a little Botox that relaxes the muscle, the filler under the eye in a young person lasts at least a year. And the amount that you use really depends on the severity. Now also, what, another thing I really loved was your special treatment for cellulite. Oh yeah, that's did very you, popular. How did, did you invent that? How did you? Well, you know, we, we use something that is very common in cosmetic dermatology. It's a type of filler, what's called biostimulatory filler. These are fillers, not the hyaluronic acid, but other fillers that stimulate your body's own collagen. So I figured out a way to inject it after years of injecting it on the face. I figured out a way to dilute it or blend the substance, make my own concoction to use it for cellulite. Because people don't want their leg bigger. It's not like getting a bigger cheekbone or a straighter jawline. So you had, I had to create a concoction of the substance in a way that it smoothened the skin rather than bulk it out. And that I call biostim treatments for cellulite. And it's really amazing because there are so many, there have been so many lasers and devices that are just like, they cost a lot of money, they don't work. When you do this for cellulite, the results are pretty immediate and they last about a year. Wow. Wow. And now another another thing that I love that you did was the Fraxel on the woman's chest. Oh, that was you're amazing. Next. I, that's, you're next. <laughs> How did it, it, it totally went away. It Does goes it, away. The it, Fraxel is, you know, I've been doing this 20 years. I've got 30 different lasers in my office. <laughs> there is no device more significant for the look and the health of your skin. It decreases skin cancer. Nothing better for the decrease in the, 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 the sun damage look of your skin than Fraxel laser. Because it's just, it windexes away all those years of sunburn. Now, we have, we have a lot of men who are watching. Are there any procedures that men should kind of look at or look into once they get to a certain yeah. age? Um, I think Fraxel is, you know, men don't care as much about wrinkles, but they don't want to look tired. 
they don't want to look dull and tired and stressed out. Fraxel works great for their skin. I do a lot of under eye filler because guys complain about bags under their eyes. And they get a lot of Botox in the frown lines. They're walking around too angry, these guys. Uh, and then there's always body stuff. Guys, they don't want hair on their backs and shoulders. Or oh. Their girlfriends and wives won't tolerate it anymore. It's not like Burt Reynolds 70s. So <laughs> hair removal on the body is very big for men. Awesome, awesome. Well, thank you. And everyone, is your social media just Dr. Paul? At, yeah, at Dr. Paul Jared Frank on Instagram and Facebook and TikTok and Twitter and <laughs> Zoom and this, at Dr. Paul Jared Frank. So awesome. yeah, come check us out. Yeah, and guys, I am going to come back in about seven days because we, we did a procedure, which is really cool, and I'm going to put it on, on YouTube as well. But I have stitches here, so I'm going to come back. If you have any questions, think about them, tweet them to us, yeah. and we'll do another one of these if you want to ask any beauty skincare or go get his book. Come on, Pro Aging Playbook. <laughs> come on, Amazon Reviews. We love that. It's a good book. I've been doing this 20 years. It's, a, it's an amazing book, and I feel like now is a great time. A lot of people... Either you're working from home and you have the extra time to really take care of yourself, which is so important. And right now I'm so grateful that he was open so I could look at my my moles from the, the sun, which he he looked at he looked at my moles and said, You're so young, what are these for why are you gotta, I'm reprimanding her. <laughs> you gotta you gotta be proactive to grow with gracefully. I mean you're doing a good job, but we'll we'll, we'll, we'll get Sun's, you there. He said sunscreen, right? Sunscreen, that's, sunscreen. that's, that's, that's the best start. <laughs> All right guys, thanks, thanks so for much. Joining. Yeah, later, make everybody. sure you follow him, guys. His link is in my description, and stay tuned for more. Show the book. Um, I don't have the book in here. Do you have a book in here? Or? Oh, I don't have a book. You know what? You'll get her the you'll get her the little link. Yeah, I will put the book up in another in another video. I have mine at home, but I definitely will uh, take a picture of the book, guys. And somebody said, I know males that do worry about their body. Oh, that's good, Michelle. Yeah, let them ask ask questions about things that that you think that we should ask. Dr. Dr. Frank. All right, guys. Love you. Bye.